<clears throat> All right, so I wanted to revisit this whole topic I mentioned before a while back with the whole thing with the devil of the world's a woman, and I touched upon the the fallen angel thing and all this other stuff. So I wanted to bring this up again because I think I might have figured out what we're really dealing with here. Now, I'm just going to touch upon this and I'll go along. So this is what they call the seal of Saturn because it's two X's put together. Okay, and then you can see here, here's the cube. You see here the Star of David. This is the Star of David. The Star of David is in the shape of a hexagon, and that was located at the... There's a hexagon at the top of the North Pole of Saturn. This is why the Jews use this crap. As you can see here, it's two X's. This is the Freemasonic compass. Again, you see how it's crossed? It's because it's making the two X's. This is the cube, and then you see the two X's. So this is called the Seal of Saturn. It's basically what interlinks the two the rings of Saturn is a magnetic field that looks like this, okay? Now, women have an XX chromosome. They have an XX chromosome. XX is the seal of Saturn. It mentioned in the Bible that the fallen angels came down and bred with the women of Earth. Fallen angels are androgynous. They don't have genitalia. So that means that they couldn't have intercourse with them. They must have done something with the DNA. Hence the reason I think why women have XX chromosome. What's, what I have a question about is they say that they came down and bred with the women of Earth. That means that the women that were on Earth during that time were already there. What were they doing being there and then the fallen angels came down and, and did whatever? I just find that interesting. What were they doing down there first before they came down? Just interesting. So anyways, I'm going to read you this article. Uh, by this guy, oh by the way, his name is XX Caliber, isn't that funny? The devil is a female, and I can prove it. So I'm just going to read you this article, because I thought it was very interesting. Uh, so here we go. Okay, now on to show you, now on to showing the devil is a female. Now this is interesting, this is very interesting. First, her name was Lucy Fur. Lucy Fur. Lucy, if I'm not mistaken, is the name of a demonic entity. Or the name is, is origin in demonic, it's a demonic name. Lucifer. Yeah, just look at her big lie right out where you can see it. Right off she uses her first name itself to put blame on the male. Okay, more proof. Well, God wanted someone who he could share some of his glory with. And he made her first. Now, can you really think he would make a woman for Adam, but not for himself? And so the whole thing about that is that, you know, God created a, a woman to keep him uh, as a companion and, and whatnot, and so he wanted the same thing for Adam, and then something went haywire. Anyway, to show you more, to show you more first thing this woman does is tell him that she is half of everything he made. We all know what happens next the kick her we all know what happens next the kick her out phase. Now you have the woman Lucy Fur who has been scorned and hell came into being. They say that like hell what is that saying that goes uh hell is a woman or something or love is hell and um Life is a bitch with a woman, and then you die. And then it some it says hell, and then it says in the Bible that hell is enlarged in herself. There's a Bible verse I think that says hell is enlarged in herself. Okay, so let's keep going. So this very pissed off woman, what does she do next in her jelly's rage? goes and finds the only other woman God made and messes up her life to get revenge on God. Now, I think the whole story of that was that God had two wives or whatever. One of them was... Uh, he had two wives. I can't remember the names of it. But he had two wives. And so I think this is what this is talking about here. But a scorned woman isn't easily modified. She keeps it up all throughout our history. So... The, also the story with Osiris and Isis with the golden penis. She was jealous of man's power. 
and he couldn't find the one piece, which was his dick, and that whole story. So that shows that. Now here we are in 2012, and she has literally, she has finally gotten her ultimate revenge. Men have worked for 50,000 years to make this world for their women, which is true. That's very true. And she has not only convinced them to take half of everything we work so hard to make, but that the women are better than men. And we all know that in divorce court, as I said before, we know this in MGTOW, the women take half of everything you own, and the law is prohibited. So that's interesting. Men have worked for 50,000 years to make this world there for their women. She has not only convinced them to take half of everything we worked so hard to make, but that, the, but that women are better than men. She did this by belittling men to the point women don't just take half of what the man made, but they take part of his soul as well. You ever been through a breakup? Feels like, you know, I'm dealing with women. It feels like they suck the soul out of you. And has gotten her revenge on God by not only making women get half, but to take even more to destroy the very men that made what they take, which is what she wanted to do to God, but couldn't. But she did not compensate men, even though that itself is torture, as she well knows. While the market hasn't fallen totally, yet investing in a relationship has crashed. And men are left with cheap sex as companion. Just look, just look at that everywhere. And while it's just one night of cheap sex that doesn't get us nothing and costs us something, it's better than investing in a crash market that will cost us our soul. And so the story you have just read is truly only God's real name was admitted to protect his identity and his sovereignty. And so that's true because we don't know the real name of God. Oh, I'm sorry, here's the story you have just read is true. Only God's real name. Oh, yeah. God's real name is admitted to protect his sovereignty. So we don't really know the true name of God. So this is, look, this is what I think is going on here. I'm just having a little uh, rum and coke. A little cocktail. This is what I think is going on with all this stuff. First of all, I'm not going to get into that. I was going to I was going to mention that the god that religions worship is actually Saturn, but that's a little too in depth. It would take me a long time to explain that. But it, but people have been fooled to think that the god that people worship in the church is actually the god that people think of when they worship or in religion. It's not. It's the false god. This is what I think we're dealing with. Um, and I'm going to keep doing research on this, because, uh, but I think, I've, I think I have the premise, the basic premise. The, the, there was this thing that was told to me by an occult researcher that I follow. It wasn't told to me personally, but he said it in his video. That the Antichrist spirit is a woman. When... When we see all this stuff going on with the Donald Trump election, with all those women that protested and, uh, you know, the whole period blood garbage that Ashley Judd talked about and um, the feminism and this whole thing, this battle of women being jealous of man's power and all this other garbage that we're dealing with right now is, is the work of the devil. It's the work of the devil. Um... It said that the devil walks around the land like a roaming lion. This is this whole lion symbology that we see with elite societies and clubs and whatnot. They use the lion. It's because that's symbolic of the devil. And it says he, he, he walks around the earth like a, like a lion roaming to seek who he may devour. And so you know when all these chicks, they love cats... You know how all these chicks like cats and all this shit? And it's all about, you know, cats for women and women like cats. And uh, at that Donald Trump election, all those women had these little pink cats with two little thing, horns sticking out. And the protesters, let me see if I can pull it up. Hold on a second. Let's just do this while we're at it. Oh, wait a minute. Women's March. And by the way, this whole women's 
this women's march shit was going on all over the world. They all had these posters of like cats and shit. And they all were dressed in leopard print, you know, this whole leopard print thing that women were wearing and whatnot. It all has to do with that whole thing with the, the, the lion roaming the earth seeking who he may devour or she may devour. It's the same, like I said, I think that the devil of this world is a woman. Let me see if I can't find it. Let me see. Uh, cats. But yeah, look. See here? You see these little things here? You see this shit right here? These little two horns? It's a symbolic of a cat. The pussy hat. That's what they called it. The pussy hat. Project. Knit pattern. And so, again, it, it has to do with this, with the devil. Here we go. See all this? Look at this. Look at this. You know, the cat... This is symbolic of an energy. That energy is, is of the devil. It says the, 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 like I said, it said that the devil walks around, or the lion walks around, or the devil walks around the earth like a lion seeking who he may devour. That's what that is. That's symbolic. All this cat shit with women, it's the devil. This is, deep. This is, this is the work of the devil, I'm telling you. Look at this. They have a cat here. With the pussycat, and you see right here, here's the seal of Saturn, here's the X. Look at that. See right there? Keep your hands off my... <laughs> Fuck off. This whole, let me tell you something, all this shit is, is the work of the devil. Oh, look here, you see, here's the seal. Here's the seal of Saturn. See the cube? See the cube right here? And look what they're showing you. This shit is the work of the devil. The Antichrist spirit is a woman. This, the Antichrist spirit is of a woman because of this right here. Lucifer. And it said, this guy said right here. Where did he say this? He said right here that... She did this by belittling men to the point women don't just take half of what men made, but they take part of his soul as well. And has gotten her revenge on God by not only making women get half, of, get half, but to take even more to destroy the very men that made what they take. Which is what she wanted to do to God, but couldn't. So what I think is happening with this whole, with all these women that we see going on today, is, this, is, the, is the devil spirit, the Lucifer, is the devil spirit taking revenge on God, the ultimate, not the God that, not the fake one, but the real one, by taking it out on his creation, which is man, which is why women hate men, which is why women want to have power. They're jealous of man's power. And so this ultimate story is because the devil wanted to take revenge on God, but he couldn't, so he did it but taking revenge on his creation that he made, which was man. And going back to this, the seal of Saturn and women's DNA, the fallen angels came down and bred with the women of earth. The women of earth, that means that the women of earth were already there before the fallen angels came down. What's, that, what's all that about? And women have an XX chromosome? Let me just show you that, just in case you don't believe me. Or you don't know. Here we go. Let's look this up. Women chromosome. You see here? The XX. Women's chromosome. Men have an XY chromosome. So, what's, what's going on here? What's up with this? Fallen angels came down and bred with the women of Earth. The women of Earth, that means they were already there. It means that they were already there. And then they came down and they did they had they mutated their DNA or, or whatever the hell they did. But this is this. This is this. Is the, the seal of Saturn is in women's DNA. So this is so like I said. 
I think what we're dealing with is that the devil of, of that, like I said, the devil of this world is a woman. We've must, we've been so lied to, man. We have been so lied to about everything. There it is, right there. There's the there's this XX, the seal of Saturn, which is what this is. It's just separated. It's the same thing. Seal of Saturn, women's XX chromosome, fallen angels came down, bred with the women of Earth. That means that they didn't have genitalia because the fallen angels are androgynous. So they mutated with the DNA, and then they did, this is their signature, that they were there. Okay, seal of Saturn, and then this. I honestly think that the devil is a woman, Lucy for Lucy. Let me just look this up too, just so everybody can get a 100% clear understanding of what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, look at here. Lucy, the daughter of the devil. Lucy, the daughter of the devil is an American computer animated television series aired on Adult Swim programming block of Cartoon Network. It was written directed by Lauren Bosch, Beauregard, Beauregard. That's interesting. Why would they put that on there? Demonic wiki. <laughs> Lucifer, Lucifer stands. Here we go again. By the way, you see, I'm not. That whole article wasn't bullshit. It's not like he was adding in the I. The real name is, is spelt this way. You just do this right here. You got the Lucy and the fur. It's a Lucy. It's a woman. Lucifer stands for the devil in Christ's demonology. Stands for the devil. Okay, so here we go. The Latin word Lucifer is also used to refer to the morning star. And by the way, I want to show you something about the morning star. Check this out. Venus, the morning star. All right, I want to show you this. Let's just go down the rabbit hole. Take, take my hand. We're going to go down the rabbit hole because I've already looked at this stuff, but you guys probably don't know about any of this stuff, so... Here we go. This is going to be fun. You know the star Venus? Let me show you this. You see this right here? Female symbol. You see how this is? By the way, it's an inverted cross. Do you see how this is? You see this sign? This is the female symbol. It's a circle with a cross. All right? Now check this out. Let's go a little astrology for you. Um... The male symbol is the circle with the arrow. All right, now you got that? All right. The astrological symbol for Mars in astrology is the circle with the arrow. The Mars in astrology represents the god of war, the ruler of Aries, and astrology Mars is the planet of energy, action, and desire. It is the survival instinct and can be brought through of as leftover animal nature in man. Mars rules our animalistic instincts for aggression, anger, and survival. Now let's go back here. You see how this is? Now, sister, the Latin word for Lucifer is also used to refer to the morning star. Again, female symbol. You see here? You see the female symbol here? The astrological symbol... Um, the astrological symbol for women... In Venus is the woman symbol. You see here? It's the same thing. This is the astrological symbol for Venus. Now that whole thing right here where it talks about refers to the morning star. The morning star. Venus. The morning star. From Earth, Venus can appear to be 47 degrees away from the Sun during these times when it arises and sets forth hours before 
or after the sun. It can be seen just before the sunrise, blah, 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 whatever. Venus, the morning star. The astrological symbol for Venus is the woman symbol. The Mars is the male symbol. Venus, the morning star. Latin word for Lucifer, also referred to as the morning star. So there you have it. Venus, the morning star, Lucifer, the symbol for woman. It's all there. It's all there. Let's keep going. Hold on. I need a drink. However, in the post-New Testament, the word can also be been used as the name for the devil, primarily in fictional works. Lucifer is not the true name of the devil, but is a misinterpretation of the Holy Bible. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I think it's, or maybe, maybe, I don't know, whatever. The Bible states Lucifer in poor translation of bearer of light. Now, here's the other thing. These people try to cover this shit up because they don't want people to know about it. The bearer of light, the morning star, Venus, and speaks the king Lucifer, a man thought out higher than the God, not the devil. A pagan myth of the fall, the a pagan myth of the fall of angels associated with the morning star, which is the woman, was translated to Satan as seen in the life of Adam and Eve in the scorn book of Enoch, which the Jewish that the Jewish encyclopedia attributes to the first pre Christian century. Because of contrived to make his throne higher than the clouds over earth and to resemble my power on the high Satan or Satan El 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 is also Saturn, by the way was hurled down in his host of angels since he had been flying over the air continuously above the abyss. Lucifer was the first angel to be created by God. Now let's go back here for a second. You know what it says here? I'm trying to find this article where it talked about this. Okay, more proof what God wanted someone who he could share some of his glory with, and made her first, made her first. Lucifer was the first angel to be created by God. And he wanted a companion, so that was his first wife. Lucifer is a woman. That was God's first wife, and she turned on him. This is some deep shit, man. This is some fucked up shit. This is some fucked up shit here. Lucifer was the first angel to be created by God. Okay, more proof goal. God wanted someone who he could share some of his glory with, and he made her first. He made her first. So God, I think what's trying to say is that God, his first angel that he created was a companion that he was supposed to have. That first angel was what we now know as being Lucifer, or Lucy. Her, which was a female. And he wanted a companion and, the, and he turned on him. The devil turned on him. The devil was a woman. And so I think what's happening here is that what we are experiencing here with women is a direct reflection of what happened between the Creator and what he went through with women and his creation of his first angel, which was Lucy Fur. As we see here, he wanted a companion share some of his glory with, and he made her first. I showed you this right here. Lucifer was the first angel to be created by God a thousand years before the creation of the world and man. Now, here's another thing. We taught, You ever hear about this whole thing when they talk about Mother Earth and all this other crap? Mother Earth? Or, you know, Mother Earth and all this other garbage? I think that Earth is not of the the Earth was not created by the God or the ultimate Creator, the good guy. Earth is why they call this place a prison planet, and that's also what kind of makes sense when it ties along the uh, the premise that the women, the fallen angels, came down and bred. Sorry, I just have to uh, hook up my charger here how they came down and bred with the women of Earth, that means that they were already there. And if this whole thing with Earth, the Earth is a creation of the devil. This is why we're stuck here, because 
this place is a prison that we were put into. This isn't a good place. This, this is why we have suffering and laws here and all this other garbage. And so, again, going back on the subject of saying that the God that these people think that they're talking about, not in the context, not in the context of what this is saying, they're, talk, they're referring to the, the ultimate creator, but this isn't the God that you talk about, that the religions talk about, and the people that they think they're worshiping is not the good guy. It's Saturn, because Saturn is what I think created Earth, which is the prison planet that we live in. And so it said that they came down and bred with the women of Earth. That means they were already there. And, and so we talk about, let's just make some connections. Mother Earth, Mother. Mother is what this, the devil is, the Lucifer. This is the prison planet. Life is a bitch and then you die. The devil wears Prada. This is all has to do with the woman. The first angel that God created was Lucifer. Lucifer. It was a woman. It was supposed to be his companion. And she turned on him and became Lucifer. The inversion of woman to man. This is what this whole transgender shit is about. It's emulating this crap. Right here is devil, the devil, the Lucifer, the devil. It's emulating it. Let's keep reading here. Lucifer was the first angel created by God a thousand years before the creation of the world and man. A, the 350,000 angels was commanded by Lucifer, being the primary consent of God. He was the most beautiful angel. Listen to this. He was the most beautiful angel and beautiful of heaven, known with the morning star, again, Venus. Remember Venus, the woman symbol? Covered in precious jewels. Conductor as music, Mr. Music minister, also choir of angels. The kindness of Lucifer became the hatred of envy when God created the paradise of Eden and man as the image of God. Lucifer became the opposite of God, manipulating 200,000 angels of various order to take possession of the throne of God, also to destroy his creation, which was man. Man was the creation of God, which is why this article that this guy wrote here, whatever this is, said that God not only made woman to get half, but it says here, uh, I'm sorry, hold on. She did this by belittling men to the point women don't just take half of what men made, but also take part of their soul as well, and has gotten her revenge on God by not only making women get half, but to take even more to destroy the very men that made what they take. To take possession of his throne of God and also destroy his creation. Right here. By making women get half to take more than they destroyed the very men that made what they take. Which is what she wanted to do to God but couldn't. Lucifer did not want the angels did not want the angels were inferior to the man of God commanded Adam falls along with Eva. What? Lucifer did not want the angels were inferior to man of God commanded Adam's fall along with Eva to show the angels that followed him and the start of the plan to be the new God to the heavenly kingdom which divided the angels in favor against from 200,000 hundred blah, 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 blah. against Lucifer, Michael, and Gabriel ordered the angels blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to stop reading here, but I, look at this. Just look at, look at this. Here we go. The light bearer, the morning star. Let me just go over this again. Venus, the morning star. Venus, the morning star. The astrological symbol for Venus is the woman symbol. <clears throat> See here? The woman symbol. That's Venus. That's the symbol for Venus. Venus, the morning star. The morning star. Venus, the morning star. You see? You see what I'm getting at here? You see what we're do you see what we're dealing with here? 
Jesus, Venus, and the Morning Star. What is this? Oh, that's just something. Oh, by the way, there's the Infinity symbol. Isn't that cute? Look, look, this, this is what we're dealing with here. I, the, this is what I've come to the conclusion to. I think I've figured it out. The devil, God created the creator, the good guy, the good God, not the fake one that the religions worship, because that's this person that they're worshiping, the devil. The true, the good guy created his first angel, which was Lucifer, which is actually Lucy Fur. And if we just go back a second. To show you this, Lucy, the daughter of the devil, this is a TV show or whatever that they created. I'm going to keep looking into this. There's a lot of links and stuff here, but God created Lucifer. This was his first angel. He wanted a companion. Where, is this? Where does it say that? He said he wanted a companion to share some of his glory with, which was a woman, which was Lucifer. She turned on God. She wanted to have the power that he, that he, you know, the whole story where the where God's wife wanted his power or whatever, because it's Lucifer. God created Lucifer. That was his first angel. She wanted God's power and turned on him. And so you think of him as a man but it's actually a woman. And because it's because the devil is a woman, which is Lucifer, she wanted to get revenge on God by destroying his creation, which was man, the male. And so all this shit... that you see going on with all this garbage, all this... Feminism, this garbage, this all this shit is the work of the devil. All these women that protest is they don't want any men in their life. They hate men because they want the power over man. By the way, you see this little fist here? You think that's the communistic fist? No, that's the fist of Saturn. That's what the communistic fist really means, is the fist of Saturn. And the cat, how the, let I me, mean, you know, that whole thing. Oh, here, look here. What was it? Look here, here's the X. See there? That's the X. Look, he's holding it up, a fucking broad. All this shit, women are equal. Women are men. Oh, by the way, this woman's wearing red hair. Lilith is synonymous with red hair. That's what all this red hair shit going on, all these women. All this crap is the work of the devil. The Antichrist spirit is the devil. That's what we're dealing with. This whole cat thing, it says, all this cat symbology that you keep seeing everywhere. There's a saying, I'll, I'll pull it up before I end the video. All this shit that they wore, these hats, these cat ears, all this stupid shit. Because the cat is the lion that they talked about in the Bible, which is the devil. Or he said he, he walks the earth, or walks around the earth, seeking whom he may devour. Oh, that's funny how this popped up. The devil, the devil wears Prada. It's another, see, there you go again with that. Here we go, here it is. Here's this saying, and I'm going to shut the video down. I'm just going to sum up what I'm trying to show you. Here you go. Be alert and sober of mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaming lion, which is a cat, looking for someone to devour. And so all this crap that you see, that they call these things pussy hats, that's what they called these things, apparently, these pussy hats. The pussy is the cat or the lion seeking who may devour, which is the devil, which is what I just, what I just read to you.
This whole shit with cats, women and cats, women love cats, because the cat is the lion, which is the devil. Why do you think women like cats so much? Always, I always, I hated cats. I couldn't, I hate cats. And every woman I ever saw always had a stupid cat. Why? It's because the devil is a symbolic, the cat is a symbolic of the devil. And cats are assholes, by the way. Cats are fucking, I hated, I always, I never liked cats. Never liked cats. And they call these things pussy hats, which is in the shape of two cat ears. You see all this crap? You see what we're really dealing with? All right. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to keep on this. But I wanted just to, to show you a little insight into kind of the research that I do into this occultic stuff. This cat shit is the devil. Walking around, it says, be vigilant and sober. As the devil is your adversity, the devil walks around like a lion seeking who he may devour. Or seeking for someone to devour. The cat is the, is the lion, the lion's a cat, this is the pussy hat. Women, women going back to the female or Lucifer. God's first creation of his first angel was Lucifer. He wanted a companion. He wanted a companion. He created Lucifer. She wanted God's power, and she could, and so she, she walked away. She said, fuck you, God. I want to have your power. And so she couldn't get her revenge. But what she did was this. She did this by belittling men to the point women don't just take half of what men made, but they take half of his soul as well, and has gotten her revenge on God by not only making women to get half, but even take but even take more to destroy the very men that made what they take, which is what she wanted to do to God, but couldn't. She couldn't mess up God, she couldn't hurt God, and so she took out her revenge on, on God's creation, which was the man. I don't think woman was God's creation. Woman was the creation of Lucifer. Woman was the creation of Lucifer, because Lucifer was a woman, which was God's companion, which goes back to Lucifer was the first angel created by God, the devil of this world is a woman. This is why men have so many problems with women. Because the devil the, the, was, is a woman. And that woman runs this earth. The woman runs this earth. This is why the laws are in favor of taking half a men's shit, like this article said, and all this other crap. Because the devil of this world is Lucifer, or Lucifer. The first angel created because it says here, okay, more proof. Well, God wanted someone who he could share his glory with and made her first. Right here. Made her first. Now you can really think, why would she make a woman for Adam but not for himself? Because what is going on with the Garden of Eden and all these other stories was that the, 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 the creation of the female is the worship of the first angel of Lucifer because the Lucifer was the first creation that God created as a companion which turned which was Lucifer he, she wanted his power which again this is why women are jealous of man's power this goes back to the golden penis of Osiris and Isis and all this shit this is why men have so many problems with women this is why women get away with murder more this is why they get precedent over men more I mean, I've been trying to figure this shit out for so long. And I think I just figured it out. Lucifer was a woman. Lucifer was a woman that God created as his first companion. And she turned on him. And she runs earth. That's why they say the devil of the life is a bitch and then you die. The devil wears Prada. All these different quotes and sayings. Because this is who they're talking about. They're talking about God's first angel, which was Lucifer, which was a woman that he wanted to keep as a companion. And so you know what, men, they try to find women, they have trouble in the dating scene, and all this other shit? It's because of this person right here. So the creation of woman is Lucifer. And you know what's funny? Just just a little side thing. Just a little side thing. One other thing. Uh, uh, but, just, but by the way, this is just too obvious. The pussy hat... They're talking about the devil. They're talking about the woman with the lion roaming the earth. The devil, Lucifer. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, oh, oh. I'm trying to figure out... Gosh, hold on a second. I don't want it to pull up something and get me blocked out of the channel. 
Uh, you see this? You see this? This is the woman's ovaries. You know what this looks like? Looks like a goat head, a ram. The female reproductive system, the ram, the goat. They use, oh, look here. If you can see in the middle, there's a star with two eyes and a face in there. You see that? See the eye here? See the eye here? See the face? With the star, the morning star. The ram, a shamanic powerful animal symbolizing, represents the pre ovulation phase of the menstrual cycle, springtime symbolic of Aries, the new beginning, fertility, energy, power. Mars, the god of war, masculine with the feminine. Wild women. Wild women? Where did that come from? What is all this stuff? Wild women? Creation, traits, pioneering, fearless, strong, adventurous, confident, protecting. Yeah, I don't think so. Not protecting in any case that we're seeing with today. The devil of this world is a fucking woman. That's who Lucifer is, God's first creation. He wanted to destroy, she wanted to take revenge on God. And so what she did was she destroyed his creation, which was man. And that is why we're dealing with women. This is why we have so many problems with them. And this is the reason why I think the, the devil of this world is a woman. I think this is what we're up against. This is why I think men are dealing with so many problems with women. This goes into the sociopathic behavior, narcissism, and all these other things I've talked about. <clears throat> One more time, and then I'm going to shut this video down. And I'm going to keep up with it because this is this uh, this is this is unbelievable. So, like I showed you, seal of Saturn, women's DNA, XX chromosome. The women came down with the fallen angels, bred with the women of Earth. The women of Earth were already there if they said that they came down and bred with them. Mother Earth, mother. They say that you know this place is called Mother Earth. God's first angel was called Lucifer. This guy talks about how the devil of this world is a woman. Her first name was Lucy Fur. She, 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 God created his first angel, which was Lucifer, which was a woman that he wanted to keep as a companion. She wanted his power. Lucifer wanted, the woman wanted his, God's power. And so she couldn't take revenge on him because he, he created her. So he can't, he can't fuck with that. She can't fuck with that. She can't fuck with the creator. And so basically it goes on to find the only other woman God made to mess up her life to get revenge on only God, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes here, she did this by belittling men to the point women did not just take half of what men made. We all know that in MGTOW, don't we? But to take part of her soul as well, as he's gotten revenge on God, but not only making women get half, but to even make, but to even, but even more to destroy the very men that men, that made what they take, which is what she wanted to do to God, but couldn't. Because she wanted his power, and so she's destroying us as men. This is why... All of this crap, all this shit, the feminism, and all this other garbage is going on because this is the work of the devil. This is the work of the devil, all this crap, all this feminism, the woman's march equality. We all know it's ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. It's absurd. It's absurd. It's absurd. It's completely ridiculous. All this shit that they keep talking about, it's absolutely utter nonsense. All these women are fucking the work of the devil of Lucifer. They have the spirit because the, the work... Oh, look here. Here's interesting. Check this out. Oh, isn't that cute? Is that, you gotta be, you got to be kidding me. Is this really what they... Sh look at this. 121.17, the woman's march. Like I showed you, Venus, the morning star with the symbol right there with the fucking cat ears. There's an X right there. Do you see what we're dealing with, guys? Do you really see what we're really up against here? You see this? This is too coincidental. It's not a coincidence. It's obvious. All this stuff. All this stuff. That, oh, by the way, this Statue of Liberty with the stars, that's the morning star. This, these, these are light beams coming out. These are light beams coming out of here. The Statue of Liberty is the, is the same thing with all this crap I'm trying to tell you about. I am a woman, hear me roar. It's just ridiculous. I mean, this is just, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is that? It looks like some kind of occultic symbology. What is that?
Look here, see again? The same shit. Period, talking about period blood and protesting and all this frickin' garbage. I mean, give me a break, Madonna. Go die. You need to be burnt in the stake because you're a witch and you're gonna go to hell for what you've done, you dried up fucking raisin. This is what we're dealing with here. This is what we're dealing with here. Devil of this world's a woman. God first, God's first creation. All right, that's enough. I hope, I hope you guys got some information. I hope you learned about this. We're dealing with the devil of this world is Lucifer. Lucifer was God's first creation, which was the woman. She wanted man's power. She wanted God's power. Couldn't have it. So she decided to take her revenge out on the creation of God, which was man. The creation of woman is of Lucifer because it represents the woman, which is why women, they talk, we always talk about here in MGTOW, we talk about, oh, that's just in their nature to act like complete immoral fucking beings. It's immoral for women to act in nature. Well, yeah, because the, the devil is a woman, so that henceforth, the seal of Saturn, which is in their DNA, is the marker of the devil. Yeah, it's in their nature, all right. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep digging. Tell me what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed the video.